It involves injecting your face with a toxin and paying thousands of dollars to keep up the treatment. In return, you look younger with fewer lines, wrinkle-free. Botox has been used in therapeutic medicine for decades. Since 2002, it's been approved for cosmetic purposes, and millions of Americans have made it the number one cosmetic procedure in the country. All new at 6, KXC's David Scott reports patients swear by it, even as some experts wonder if by tightening your face, you're tightening your emotions, such as happiness or joy. I just think it's sort of the, the wonder drug of, uh, of this century, and I, I think that's why it's the most popular cosmetic procedure. Five million Americans agree. Austin's Westlake Dermatology is one of the largest providers in the country, flooded with patients willing to pay $500 for a two-minute procedure good for about five months. They agree experienced, certified surgeons and dermatologists reduce the risk of side effects or the dreaded frozen face. There's an area where it's safe to use and has an effect. If you use less and it doesn't have an effect, and if you use too much, then it can be dangerous. So that's true for aspirin and Tylenol, and it's also true for Botox. This is Jocelyn Ward's third visit. Basically, this is preventative to keep the deep lines from setting in, and um, if I don't make them, then I don't have them. The doctor's goal is simple. I try and make my patients look natural, uh, and I think anybody that's in the... Um, cosmetic realm, especially in Austin, um, we're not going for that L.A. or New York uh, look. Jocelyn loves the result, but concedes Botox does tighten her face and affects her expressions. Just a little bit tighter, like as if your muscles were, you know, just really tight and yeah. they don't move as much. You make the same expressions just to a lesser degree. But does Botox, by restricting our expressions, also restrain the messages we send and our actual feelings of sorrow? or joy. A new study suggests impairing our ability to fully laugh or cry may diminish the quality of our emotions. Austin psychologist Carl Pickard agrees to this extent. The face is not equivalent to feeling. The, what, what that does is it, it restricts your capacity to express feeling, but the feelings are still there. Faces can be masks or the window to our soul. What I'd like to do is to have a good laugh or a good cry, but my face no, no longer has the expressive capacity for that. I've got to find some other ways to get that expressive outlet or to communicate that kind of message. Dr. Nicolaitis says by restricting sad or angry facial lines, Botox can also diminish depression. As for Jocelyn, so you notice no change in your emotions? No change in my emotions, <laughs> no. Just in your face? Yeah, just in my face. Actually, I might be a little happier because I don't have to worry about these lines anymore. <laughs> Next patient, Jocelyn will be back in four months. Now, are we going to have to have Kent get some work here, too? Yes, Kent is... He's three, but he's looking like a four-year-old, so yeah. <laughs> he, he wants to nip it in the bud now. Yeah. <laughs> David Scott, KXAN Austin News.